Hello, this is Kemi Freda Ditiba, and I have a word for Nigeria. Some days ago, I heard a word from the Lord. This was on the 3rd of April, 2021. And that same day, I had a prophetic dream. And knowing the implication of this dream, I shared it with a few close people and my intercessory group for us to pray, which we did. But I had a strong burden to share this word publicly so that the people can know what the Lord has in his heart for them. Even though I cannot share the details of this dream, but here's what the Lord says. My people shall rejoice over their leaders as there will be a reinstating of righteous leaders in the nation. Rejoice for I am turning around your captivity. I will be known as a restorer to my people, says the Lord. The church will not be despised in this hour. It will be a place of refuge and solutions. It will be the hub for a transformative nation. Do not despise the church in this hour, for there will arise from the church men and women that I have equipped and trained for this season. Those who have believed and waited for the promise, those upholding my standard of purity and righteousness, there will be an awakening in my church a move of my spirit in righteousness and holiness that will greatly impact the nation. So pray for the church. I am doing a new thing. Even from the highest level of governance to the list, I am doing a new thing. I am reinstating righteousness as your leader, says the Lord. I felt the reality of Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. It will go from zero to 100 swiftly. As it is written, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Psalm 126 There will be an attempt to oppose this, but victory is secured. Rejoice, rejoice, though it tarry, wait for it, it will not delay. Rejoice, I say rejoice. As the Lord spoke those words, I felt his heart for this nation. Isaiah chapter 62 became a confirmation to what the Lord is said to do. Regarding Zion, I can't keep my mouth shut. Regarding Jerusalem, I can't hold my tongue until her righteousness blazes down like the sun and her salvation flames up like a torch. Foreign countries will see your righteousness and world leaders your glory. You'll get a brand new name straight from the mouth of God. You'll be a stunning crown in the palm of God's hand, a jeweled cup held high in the hand of your God. No more will anyone call you rejected, and your country will no more be called ruined. You'll be called Hephzibah, my delight, and your land Beulah, married, because God delights in you, and your land will be like a wedding celebration. For as long, for as a young man marries his virgin bride, so your builder marries you and as a bridegroom is happy in his bride so your god is happy with you i've posted watchmen on your walls jerusalem day and night they keep at it praying calling out reminding god to remember they are to give him no peace until he does what he said until he makes jerusalem famous as the city of praise god has taken a solemn oath an oath he means to keep Never again will I open your green field bands to your enemies to loot and eat. Never again will foreigners drink the wine that you worked so hard to produce. No, the farmers who grow the food will eat the food and praise God for it. And those who make the wine will drink the wine in my holy courtyard. Walk out of the gates. Get going. Get the road ready for the people. 
build the highway, get at it, clear the debris, hoist high a flag, a signal to all peoples. Yes, God has broadcast to all the world. Tell daughter Zion, look, the Savior comes, ready to do what he said he would do, prepared to complete what he promised. Zion will be called new names, holy people, God redeemed, sought out, a city not forsaken. As this word came, it flooded my heart with hope as it made it clear that God will fulfill every word that he has spoken concerning this nation. As he has promised, righteousness will indeed become our leader and peace our ruler. The shift is here in Nigeria. Continually pray for your country and do not speak ill of the nation in this critical hour, just as a mother who is about to bring forth. Speak life speak hope speak the word and it shall co come to pass surely it shall come to pass wait for it we declare that the will of god be done and his kingdom come at the end the glory of god will be seen in this nation like never before wait for it